So now, going back to the rapture timing, and again, more proof and more understanding of wisdom that is going to be in 23, according to the window that we studied. And remember, they got to go back to the window. I'm not explaining every single teaching here, but giving you the foundation. And so you have Daniel 12, 12, which talks about the 13, 35 days. Those are the days from the Dome of the Rock. And I know you can look at that also in Brother Jared from Supernatural by Design is doing a whole teaching on the Dome of the Rock as well. Those are 13, 35 days from the Dome of the Rock, 688, all the way to 2023, which gives us the first confirmation. So all of these verses, Daniel 12, 12 with the 13, 35 days, Titus 2, 13, which is the Blessed Hope. John 21, 11, which is the 153 fish, and John 21, 12, which is the come and dine. They all resolve to 2023 uh, one way or another. Okay, so you, you can kind of look at these calculations, um, how we got there, including the John 2, 11, which is 2, and then 1, 2, and 3. That's a 3, so two, 23 again. And 153 fish links to the 13, 35 days is the numbers 153, 153. And the come and dine again, you can see how that all resolves to 2023. So these are these are just reminders of how uh, they're all leading us to see and understand that 2023 is the day of the rapture. Again, look at the other videos and teaching uh, that were done here to understand how that works. So then on top of that, when we look at the counts of the transfigurations, we have the Luke 9, 28, which mentions eight days. And the Mark 9, 2, and Matthew 17, 1, that, met, that uh, mention six days. So if you look at the start of 23 and then the end of 24, these are two years. And so eight days, it will be, you know, two years prior, prior, and then six days starting this way all the way to 31. So from, from 31, you can count back and see that you can get to six and then back to eight. So the transfiguration which lines up obviously with the second coming as well as the rapture on this end all match perfectly with the counts of the transfiguration. So work. then as the 10 years of labor and sorrow end, okay, uh, which again, they're demonstrated by the Anna story of Luke 2.36 because she's 84 and the Lord is eight days old, presented at the temple for the circumcision. And so she represents the 84 from 1948 all the way through 32. Uh, but the Lord is eight, meaning Israel is officially 80 years old uh, in 2032. So from that moment, we can then count back the tribulation years as two sets of 1260 days. And so we're going to do it that way. 1260 plus 1260 will give us what? Will give us. 25 20 days but look at this this is obvious 20 and 25 it's 20 25 now if you go back 12 60 days in 12 60 days from 32 will land exactly in 2025 this is absolutely mind blowing this is how these calendars are fitting in perfectly it's making complete sense and while we don't know all things we're now seeing the full picture and sequence of events this final demonstration of the 1260 days twice, which gives us 2520, which is 2025, tells us that 2025 is the start of the tribulation. From the Matthew 16 uh, sequence, we do know that the, the 2025 will be mostly tribulation saints, uh, decapitations. Those are the souls that have refused the mark of the beast. We have to expect, as we can see here from the beast system calendar, that's being implemented and we can see rapidly growing. So there's a couple more years to get to that 25 mark where all the setup will be done. And of course, the the blood of the saints uh, would be spilled. And then in 26, you can see that the Antichrist is in full power. And also we know it from the Matthew 16, 26, because uh, who can gain the whole world and lose a soul? There's only one man that can gain the whole world, and that's the Antichrist. So it lines up perfectly with the uh, Tribulation Saints in 25, 
and the mark of the beast or sorry the antichrist in 26 uh, which will take us to the midpoint tribulation sometimes in the early 2029 and then to armageddon in 2021 which lines up with the second coming of the lord and then everything is finished in uh, 2020 in 2032 we don't know how long this will be it could be a year six months or maybe less uh, there'll be a time from the coming of the lord perhaps the armageddon battle uh last a few months or so we we don't know for sure but we know that in 2032 all is finished and further demonstration of that is that when we go to genesis 7 21 where it says that all flesh died that's the 84 day mark from when the water started um so we know and that's when uh, noah entered in and he was 600 so we know that this is the 84th year um starting from obviously jerusalem being a nation and in that exact moment the all flesh all flesh died other incredible demonstration is that in genesis 7 verses 2 and 3 again pointing to what to st the start in 23 will be seven years seven years uh again pointing to the tribulation uh that tells us what that there is seven uh or two of uh, groups of seven clean beasts to go in or animals and two of groups of two unclean and then two groups of seven fowls those are the uh, typology of animals they're supposed to be coming into the ark so seven times two is 14 2 times 2 is 4, 7 times 2 is 14. So 14 plus 4 plus 14 gives you 32. These are the totals going in. You can also see it by palindrome 2, 2 and 3, which is also another 32, which matches very much so as we've seen here with the Lord in um, the, the palindrome of him being 32, which is re reversed to 23, 4, the rapture so lastly on the side of the page i have uh I put some um, summaries and additional kind of confirmation and things that as you explain to others uh, and you can print this out and leave it with them they can also begin to understand and get more knowledge about these various calendars and what to expect this is meant to be obviously a document for others who are not familiar with what's coming and a way for you to study this in depth, understand it in depth, and then begin to explain it to them uh, so that we'll be prepared and understand what is about to come. And there's finally one more layer to this, which is the Peter's denial. Now you can see how these uh, up here, uh, the Peter's denial up here matches or lines up with the tribulation here. And, and so if you go back to the Peter's denial video, you understand a little bit more, but the first cock crowing will be after the first denial, uh, which is sometimes when uh, it's possible the rapture happened and it's still people will deny that, that this had happened. And this is still under the, the time of belief, which is the time of grace. And again, you, you look at the Peter's denial in Luke twenty two fifty six, 56. Uh, but also we know that in Mark 16, 16 says, believe and be baptized and you shall be saved. So, we're, it is talking about a time of grace, right? And we're still under fire. So Peter is out by the fire, which means Peter is with the Holy Spirit or is the time of the Holy Spirit. And this is about a year. Why? Because it says same time, which matches again the Mary Magdalene idea that says the same day. So we have that. And then after in Mark 1469, we know that now after a while, this is the second denial, and now we're already moved into the porch. So you can see even on the Peter story that there is a transition from 23 to 24. Something happens uh, that, again, we, we don't, I don't claim to know all things, but I understand there is a difference. It's something happening. Uh, it could be two raptures. I, I don't know for sure. But I am suggesting that we're going to pay close attention to this uh, difference in, of, of something happening here as another denial will be implemented. Then after that is when he says after an hour. So that hour equals 60 minutes, which equals six years. This is the uh, kind of largest time um, until the Lord comes back. And so that's the time of understanding. Now from that, from that teaching on Peter's, we know that we are called to believe and to follow 
and to understand that's that was the teaching on Peter's denial. We are to call call to do this uh, where, the, where our primary uh, redemption tool obviously is the belief in the Lord. So, but we are following him and we're understanding. But in this time, that's when the understanding will come to pass because of what's about to happen. People will be able to see with their eyes, uh, just like Thomas, ultimately, which will believe because he uh, saw. So I hope this helps everybody understand why we are seeing certain things come to pass and why a lot of people believe, including myself, that, for example, 22 is the year of the, of the rapture. It wasn't necessarily the year of the rapture, but is the year of the start of the 10 years of labor and sorrow. So it is absolutely a critical year in the sense that scripture leads us to that year to see the start of of the uh, a portion of the tribulation, which is not necessarily the great tribulation. And therefore, by seeing that year, we're not in error. We're not missing something. We're just now understanding there's multiple calendars happening all at the same time at particular rate. Now, are we, are we saying the rapture is in 23? We don't know that for sure. But we are led to see that. We're led to understand that between 23 and 24, uh, which is part of that window idea that uh, I had explained in other videos, uh, is the absolute greatest chance for that to happen. Now, do we know the day and the hour? We don't know the day and the hour, and we will never know the day and the hour. And this is very important. But we're beginning to see events unfolding according to these calendars, which tell us that we are on the right track. We're only let to know what we are led to know. We only understand what we're led to understand. We're not working out of our own imagination, but we're led by the Holy Spirit to see scripture and we're given words which match with that. And we see events in the world like the protests in Israel, for example, or the earthquakes or the war or other pestilences and whatnot happening. And those are all confirmations that these calendars are taking place. So while we don't know the day and the hour, we can stay busy doing the work for the Lord and part of this calendar that you can print out is to go out and explain it to people but you have to study it study with scripture behind and understand these various accounts numbering system and sequence of events study the Matthew 16 sequence study the second Peter sequence study the judges 14 sequence study all of these sequence that we have discussed the Peter's denial sequence the story of Mary Magdalene in the John 20th and the John 21 uh, chapter where we talk about the 153 fish and the fact that John is going to tarry, which represents the ones that are alive and remain, whereas Peter must follow him because he represents the dead in Christ. All of this is part of the teachings that, of course, are in all of the videos that um, I posted here. So please go back. I'm also considering doing a live Zoom to explain this calendar, answer some questions, and prepare you, all of you brothers and sisters, to share with others with precision and comfortable uh, knowledge all of this information. So if you're interested, leave a comment in the description uh, below or, or leave a, a comment and just let me know that you'll be interested in the Zoom. If there is enough people, I can do a teaching and sit down and do questions and answers and explain the calendar in details with you. As always, we're not here for ourselves. We're doing this for the Lord. The Lord is giving us this great knowledge and wisdom to know and be confident to know that he's coming soon. This is so that we can prepare and prepare others with proof with evidence and with just a little time that we got left i hope this was a blessing i thank you all for your prayers please continue the lord has completely reestablished not only my health but my strength in doing this and it's all thanks to the prayers that a lot of you have brought forth let's continue to pray for each other in jesus mighty name amen